Hello and welcome to yet another of my videos. What we have here is a very rare situation in which Philips CDM4 mechanism does not work. These are the most reliable mechanisms ever. This video is about Cambridge Audio CD2, a very rare beast. Because other than that mechanism, it has not one, but four. Four TDA 1541A, the first Philips 16-bit chips. And they appear to be original ones because you see those heat sinks are mounted on them and they're sort of stuck very hard. So um, for real aficionados that are into the, those Philips chips, you could put four single or even double crowns there and have the most expensive CD player you know, with uh, of that era probably. Um, as you see it hasn't read the CD and, um, and the reason for that is that there's very little output power from that laser. So uh, this unit has been worked on, and that is evidence. You can see all this smeared heat sink compound. So this player has been worked on. Um, but those four regulators, I've checked voltages, they're fine at 51 as well. They all supply right voltage. We can see that capacitors are not, this is certainly not the standard work there. Um, Board, strangely, hasn't got any silk screening, it hasn't got any marking on it, you know, what's where. And what is worrying for me is that the head lost its cover. So obviously somebody was trying to do some surgery on the head and forgot to put it back, or, or I don't know. So it's either the whole mechanism carked it, or, or at least laser carked it, or it's just turned down. I have a laser power meter, so I've tried to adjust it first. If not, I'll just have to get a mechanism from a, uh, a different machine with CDM4. Plenty of them, and they're cheap. Um, but this unit, uh, I, I, will, I will get it going no matter what, uh, because I will, always was curious, you know, how will the unit with four of those... Uh, TDA 1541 chips will sound and um, ooh, here I have one um, so uh, I probably won't start on it anytime soon because I've got other projects that I need to finish but but I'll certainly get this going uh, you know in some time in the future <laughs> well thank you very much for your time and um, until next one you can see there's some noises here. It tries to spin it in and, and moves the head up and down, but there's just no laser power coming out. Oh, well, thank you very much. Bye-bye.